Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom know how to make their relationship spicy, after all these years together. Their as life is very hot and heavy, a source insisted about the pair, who got engaged in 2019. So there's absolutely no jealousy on Katie's part, she's very secure in what they have and in her own s appeal. As OK previously reported, the actor, 47, caught some heat for checking out Kim Kardashian's butt at a recent event. When asked about the situation on September 10th, the pop star, 39, who shares daughter Daisy Dove with Bloom, didn't seem to mind one bit. I mean how could you not? She quipped. According to an insider, Perry totally understands why Orlando would be checking out Kim's booty, she says she'd do the same if a hot guy were in her face and Orlando would have no issue with it. They're at a point in their relationship where they actually encourage each other to have some flirty fun, as long as it never crosses any lines into cheating territory, they feel like it actually helps to keep the spark alive, they continued. S is Orlando's big vice, but he's not a cheater and never has been. He just wants a partner with an equal S, drive and Katie seems to have no problem keeping up. The Teenage Dream songstress got candid about how much fun she and Bloom have at home. If I come downstairs and the kitchen is clean, and you've done it all, and you've done all the dishes, and you've closed all the pantry doors, you better be ready to get your D, suck, Perry said on an episode of Alex Cooper's podcast. That is my love language. I don't need a red Ferrari, I can buy a red Ferrari, Perry continued. Just do the F, dishes. I will suck your D. It's that easy. The Lord of the Rings Alan cracked a joke about Perry's NSFW remark, writing, I've cleaned the whole house. Though the pair broke up for a bit, they ended up finding their way back to one another after both enrolling in the Hoffman Institute in California, which Perry said is made to help you rewire all the bad habits and rewire your neural pathways through different physical activities. It saved my life. I would be dead without it. I would not be on this planet without that process and meditation, she said. Life and Style spoke to the first source, 